you with this dimly lighted camera again because my other battery died but I wanted to do my makeup basket for the week I am going to try to be more consistent with that I can't promise you that because sometimes I either I'm using the same basket the following week or I just totally forget to do a makeup basket. But anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna start with my fragrance, which probably most of the summer is gonna be my um, Haiku Kyoto Flower um, Perfume from Avon. I like it because it's a clean scent, but it's also a lightly floral scent. That is one of my absolute favorites from Avon. So that's gonna be in the somewhat basket for the week and um, next up we're going to do lip colors I am going to be using my the Milani um, in matte beauty as you can see that is my favorite is it just me or does anybody's lipstick also do this curve I'm not one of those ones who do the lipstick bullet from top so I always get that little funky curve in lipsticks that I use a lot but I'm going to be using the matte beauty and it might seem like it's a little bit out of season, but I'm going to be using the MAC Stone Lipstick. Ooh, please don't break. I think that I'm going to throw in this week the, and it's almost at that curve I was telling you, but it's the Honey Love from MAC. So those will be the three lipsticks. And when I don't feel like lipsticks, I'll be using this, the L'Oreal lip gloss and this is called I'm trying to take the sticker off I got these on sale at Target a while ago but I really I put them in my drawer and really didn't think about them anymore but this is going to be 403 purple prelude so I'll swatch that because it's kind of hard to see on the tip of that but that is what that looks like hopefully you can see that well because I'm not too sure about this camera and I'm going to be using another one of those glosses and it is in the color fuchsia orchestra and wow it's really bright but it's almost summer on the calendar so it's about time to start pulling out the bright so I'm going to be using that and I'm going to go back to one of my old standbys it's um, one of the Maybelline elixir lip glosses and this is in Vi vision in violet and that is what that looks like down there now that i think about it i kind of missed that let's get that off my hand before i have it all over the place so that's it for lip products for me I am going to go to my face. We're going to start with the blushes that I'm going to use. I don't know how I'm going to use this, but I threw this in my basket. And this is the Avon Ideal Luminous Blush. And it's in the color Warm Flush. It might have to be like a highlight for me because it is a little bit bright. I am also going to use this Milani Red Vino Blush. If I can get it open. That is pretty. And I have, I think, two, is it one or two? I have two blushes from um, NYX that I'm going to use this week. Okay, one of them is called Coco. Mm. And the other one is Cinnamon, which I have one today, if you can see it. And that's Cinnamon, that's the new color Cinnamon. The other one is more of a light orange color. And I have that one too, somewhere. Okay, so next for the face, I'm going to be using a um, BB cream and a foundation today. I'm going to be using the BB cream from Kiss in medium, which I might have to find the lighter one and mix it because it's a little bit dark right now because I don't have my summer color yet. So I'm going to be using that. And I'm also going to be using the Avon Ideal Flawless Invisible Coverage Foundation. And this is in the color Nutmeg. This thing is like my perfect Avon color in every one of their foundations. For, um, I'm so sorry, for my face primer, I'm gonna be using the Avon Magic's Face Perfector. 
and I'm also going to be using the NYX pore filler for concealer I'm going to um, pull out an old fave which is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye and I'm also going to be using and continuing to finish my Avon ideal flawless concealer in the color dark Yeah, the color of my um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye is deep. Uh, my face powder is going to remain the same and that is the Avon Ideal Flawless Press Powder. It's in the color Fawn. And I use that oval brush on this and it has that little oil film so I have to get something to kind of rough that up and get it off. But this has been my favorite like I guess all year so far. I'm also going to um, pull out the um, Reserve Your Cabana on days when I want to have like a very light highlight. And this is from Wet n Wild. Everybody knows. I'm going to use the Milani Bronzer XL All Over Glow. And this one is in the color Bronze Glow. I'm going to stick with the other standby, which is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And I don't use the bronzer side, but I do use this one to set my, my concealer. Um, going back and being a little bit um, unorganized, but um, if you know me, that's me. I also pulled out two BH Cosmetic um, Concealer and Corrector Palettes. I have the Medium and the Dark. And I like the medium because it has those different colors of um, the corrector. I'm not going to use any of these. I would only be using it just for the corrector. And then the dark palette looks like this. And you can see that this is the one that I've been using. So we we'll are working on that this week or maybe the next two weeks. We don't know. Um, we're using um, also for my highlight that MAC. I'm going to get another one, y'all. I'm going to stop talking about this one. But the MAC Go Deposit, the Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, is that it for my... No. I'm going to try out this week. I bought this a long time ago and dropped it on the floor. And all of my product was wasted. So I wound up buying another one. And um, this is a product from Mali, and I why do I the name of it escapes me right now? But basically, it's like a, a yellow cream that you use for you know the dull areas on your face. And I have some on my hand right now. Let's get that off. And I'm gonna put the name of the product. Um, or on, in the annotation on the screen because I can't remember it right now but I'm going to try that this week and I wanted to try her um, primer but I left it at my sister's house so I'll get that later I um, believe that is it for the face um, for my eyes I will be using probably mostly this combination which is the Ruby Kisses eyeshadow magic primer and I'll be using a MAC paint pot and laying low to make my eyeshadows a little bit more vibrant um, for the brows I'm not sure I think I might stick with my Avon um, perfect eyebrow pencil and this is in the dark brown I believe yes this is the dark brown one and I got this in I think my boxycharm is the the brow gal clear water resistant eyebrow gel I've been using this this week and it does it gives it really says that you can feel like the I don't want to say crunch, but the firmness of your brow. So that really sets them in place. For um, mascara, I'm going to be using two. One of them is my sample. I think it just came in a glossy box. of the Benefit Roller Lash. And also my, su my Super. My CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Mascara. This one is easier to use on my bottom lashes because of that skinny brush. Um... 
I am also going to try, um, where'd it go? I have the Avon Eyebrow Kit, which is uh, right here. I may give that a try this week. I don't know. I'm so mad that they changed the Perfect Eyebrow Pencil to the Perfect Eyebrow Kit that I don't know what to do myself. But that is okay. And for my eyeshadow palettes this week, I have four. Let me put this thing up because I'm making a mess. I have four so that I can have some options. I don't know. I'm going to go with the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. And of course, we all know what that looks like. I'm going to go with the Lorac. At, blah, blah, blah. The uh, Lorac Alter Ego Shadow Palette in Heartbreaker because I wanted some brighter colors. Also, I'm going to go with the Tartlet Palette and I'm still going to buy the Tartlet in Bloom. I just haven't gotten to it yet, but I just thought that would be some good um, neutral colors for the week, especially because when you're wearing scrubs, you don't want to look like a clown with all this bright makeup on. So I have to usually go neutral for the week, but sometimes I do add a pop of color. And I am going to also pull out the Naked Smoky Palette from Urban Decay. And I really have not used this. I've swatched it, but I haven't used it. And you can see because the brush is still in its packaging. But I pulled it out because I watched somebody's video and they used it. And I forgot that it has some really pretty neutral colors. And you can do a neutral smoky eye and wear it to work. So I'm going to work on this palette. I should be ashamed of myself because I still have the box. Anyway, so that is the eyeshadows for the week. And I think that is it. I had a couple of products in a glossy box that I wanted to try. Or one of those boxes. One of them is this... Um, it's by So Susan the Statement Skin Lightning Crayon. I had a little sample of I'm just gonna do this. I I might try it, I might not. I'm not a big fan of it because it's that highlight that looks silver and I'm not living that life of the silver um highlight. That's so not me. But I think that's it. Other than um I'm gonna use the MAC Fix Plus for my face or I'm going to pull out the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and I got this from um this is a bigger size this is the eight ounce size I got this from Hold Look they were selling the duo so I got two duos so I'm set for life with that for a little while and that is it I am also going to be working on this set of brushes this week to see how they best work for me and also I forgot something for the eyes I'm going to be using of course my um Lux Longwear eyeliner pen, pencil well pen from Star Lux Pro and I'm also going to be to, using two eyeliner um cold eyeliners from Wet n Wild one is in what's the color shoot 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 I can't find the color. Okay, um, I just see that it's 609A, but it's like a maybe cornflower blue color on a, the lower lash line. And of course, they have, it's called Baby's Got Black 601A. I don't know so maybe this one is called like comment or share okay so I'll be using those two for the first time I just picked these up I think these are 99 cents but they were having the um, at Rite Aid they were having to buy one get one free so I picked up those two and that is finally it y'all thank you for watching this scrap this scattered video and I'm starting to have pain now so thank you for watching and have a good one bye